So now we're going to look at um, something that you're all familiar with, and that's the concept of timelines. If we look at this website, we see a very typical activity. Uh, students are given a series of dates. They are asked to take those dates right here. Now let's put those dates, events on a timeline. And notice how they change order and blah, blah, blah. Um, the problem is that the level of processing in this type of an activity is very, very minimal. Um, a, any student who can count can do this extremely basic timeline activity. So let's look. From the instructions to the timeline, what content is added? Okay, so we have Columbus reaches the New World in 1942. So we have 1942, Columbus reaches the New World. Okay, so nothing added there. I'm not going to go through every step that way, but you get the idea. There is no new content discovered by the student through the engagement in this activity. Um, I can tell you to write down pi to the first 30 digits by looking it up online and then copying it down onto your piece of paper. Now, obviously, you intuitively know that you're not going to remember all of those numbers. The same thing is true here. We ask students to copy some dates, either from a textbook or a um, whiteboard or website or something. But we just ask them to copy the dates onto a timeline. We don't ask them to do anything more concrete than that, and that's where timelines fall into getting a bad rap. Now, historians use timelines. Um, investigators use timelines. Lots of people use timelines because they want to order a series of events and ask questions about those events. So, um, Think about the movie Clue, if you've ever seen that, or any of those crime dramas where they line people up and they have them stand in different places. It's not to gain any new knowledge. It's to be able to engage the concepts that those people represent in a new and meaningful way. So in today's activity, we're going to look at timelines, but we're going to avoid a simple rote copying of dates and see if we can't come up with some activities that encourage students to look at dates and timelines in a critical way and maybe even engage some new content through using a timeline. I think it's going to be fun.